what's up guys back again with another vlog i'm seeing if you're new here this is my other channel vlog channel and today like in the title we're going to be doing an unboxing amazon unboxing i have some more mannequins if you watch my last video you'll see that i got some mannequins to uh display my merchandise from my poshmark store and that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be doing some unboxing excuse my little rough look but um i've been busy so here's the box this is what it looks like when it comes with the hanging mannequins and so i'm gonna be assembling them and it just looks so much better um when you have a store and you pose your stuff on the mannequin if i get out of frame give me uh, put this up here uh, have to be on the floor so i'm gonna try to get a lot of stuff to done today um, i just did some videos some tiktok videos uh, some more promos go over and check that out some outfits uh oh And for those of you who are wondering what camera I'm using, because my phone won't allow me to be great anymore with these new updates on, I have an iPhone, so with these new updates that they're adding, it's taking up a lot of storage. I've had to delete a hell of a lot of apps off my phone. It really sucks, but um, with that being said, I had to delete apps off my phone and I'm running out of storage for recording. So now I'm being forced to use my cameras, believe it or not. And that's also what today's video is gonna be about. I got a new camera. So we'll talk later about that. Right now we're gonna assemble these mannequins and we're gonna get some clothes onto there. And I think I need to take a picture and upload um, an outfit or not outfit a swimsuit to the store that I found in my stock so we're gonna be doing that too so this is the mannequin this is what it looks like you get four of them I've mentioned it before um you could get four of them $19.99 with I believe $9.99 shipping so, so, this, so, so far this is my second order of these mannequins. I, I like them a lot. So I got my nails a little shorter so it shouldn't be this difficult to get this stuff together this time. Last time I had a little difficult time. My nails were longer and it was a little harder to kind of do. And it's not that hard, honestly, it's just Take the little screw and washers off and put it through and that's it voila but being in my nails was a little longer it was kind of hard to do that little do that little bit so and if you're wondering this is my recording area my storage for my Poshmark as well as my promo for TikTok. So that's why you don't really see anything else. It's, it's a bedroom, but I've converted it into a filming room. So we're gonna hang that one right up there. And then, so like this is my merchandise right here. Never mind that stuff there, but I do have a Zara. Um, I found a a Zara bag. It was a thrift find. It's new with tag. Very nice. Check it out on my Poshmark store. It'll be in the link. Um, these are the outfits that I have. The mannequins make so much of a difference with the outfits, I swear. 
So this is what these look like. This is the outfit that I need to post, not outfit, swimsuit. And so that's what it looks like in the back. I just put it on the mannequin last night. So I actually had to switch it out because this outfit was on this mannequin before. So, but now that I have some more, I don't have to do that. So this is what it looks like. Looks very professional, store, almost store-like. So my, my, uh, point to getting these is also so that I can do, um, Poshmark shows, having my brain fog. I be busy, so a lot of times if I pause or I say something that don't make sense, it's cause I be having a lot of stuff on my mind. So, um, yeah, so I want it to look a little more, you know, a little more tailored, a little more polished when I do my sh the shows on Poshmark. I haven't done one yet. I No, I take that back. I've done a silent show. And with that, you don't have to be on camera or whatever. You just switch out the products and stuff. And that's it with that. But I want to get more in depth into it. And I've sold a few things. Matter of fact, I just shipped off something. Was it this week? Yeah, it was four, four items. They bought four items. And so, um, I shipped that off and, yeah, so I just really, I have a lot of merchandise left from my original store and I just want to get rid of it. And I do a lot of thrift shopping, so I see a lot of stuff that I think people might like, you know, I love shopping. It's like the Zara bag. That is the brand new bag. I got there to the store right when it opened. Right when it opened. And that's the best time to go to thrift stores is when they first open. Because that's when they have all the good stock out when they first open. Because you go there any later, you, anything that they had out that was worth getting is gone. You know. So I got, I got a hold of that Zara bag. Brand new with tag. Big bag too. All right, so. So the thing about this, what makes it a little difficult is like, you can see right here, there's basically an anchor right there. So you have to push that all the way through. So that way it gives it, you know, the swinging effect. You know, you kind of twist and turn it and stuff. So that's why you have to push it all the way through. I just love these. In it. And they don't cost that much. As you can see, I have my mannequin right here. Alyssa. <laughs> uh, she's, I use her as well. And my, uh, as a model. For the merchandise in my store. But um, not all the time because it's a, I won't say it's a hassle, but it takes a little time to dress and undress her and stuff like that. So, and as a matter of fact, she's wearing some of the items that I have listed so right now. And I need to take it, take it off of her and put her on the hanger and um, change her out. And so I'll probably be doing that. Maybe not today, but I will be taking off those clothes and hanging them up here on the rack and most of my stuff comes from amazon Ouch. and i'll probably save the box because i use the boxes my i order a lot of amazon so i usually save the boxes to ship my items. I hope I'm not out of frame. And I think I am. Okay. So. So I save the boxes. And I use the boxes to ship my items. 
I could get boxes from the post office, of course, for free. But when you think about it, they, they have certain sizes. So if you have a lot of stuff, you know, bulky stuff or something that's long in length, um, the little post office box are not, are not going to accommodate those things. So, all right, and that was the last one. And so we're done. So what I would do with the box is basically like I have room in the back of the house what I keep my empty boxes. I keep those in the back of the closet. So I usually just, um, see, oh, this time, this one came with instructions. I didn't have instructions. Are you supposed to keep a washer at the top? Oh, well, damn. Yeah, so I don't think I remember seeing any instructions the last time. And then what is this? A warranty card. I didn't have a warranty card either. Okay, so I need to save this. All right, so put that there. And then we have a little zip lock. I'm gonna just toss that in the trash. And then I save the box. Because with Poshmark, you can, what they call bundle items. And what that is, is basically you can buy you could put more than one item in your in your basket and when you when you purchase stuff like that you get get a little bit of a discount you know okay so now the next thing is i'm going to take this I need to make sure it looks good before I actually, and I'll just hang it up here. And it actually looks cute. Looks like how you see it in a department store. So. What I'll do with this is an all right, let me take that off of there. And uh, da, 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 da. okay. So I'm gonna just take a picture. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. My camera overheated. I can't believe this. My camera overheated and so now I have a fan behind it so that it doesn't overheat while, while I'm recording. Um, so I did finish uh, that upload. So here it is right here. Uh, I had to upload it onto this. I did that while I was waiting for my camera to cool off and I even put it in front of the fan. GoPro, y'all need to do something about the overheating on you guys' camera. This is ridiculous. I wasn't even that far into the recording and my camera overheated and shut down. That's not, that's not a plus. That's not a plus. Now this is like, I don't know why that, it's just not letting me be great today. I've used this camera before and this was the first time it overheated and I'm quite surprised like it just, it over and then when I clicked it back on it was like cameras too hot. Are you fucking kidding me? So now I have a fan behind it. So if you hear noise and plus I have my air on So if you hear noise, that's what's that's what you hear is the fan in the background But okay back to the store now So I uploaded it. I took pictures of the swimsuit and or I think I put it back on the rack so I took pictures of it, uploaded it to the store while I was waiting for the camera to cool off. And I got it up here now. And so this is my store. So if you wanna shop, oh, let me show you guys the Zara bag that I found. 
So here's the Zara bag. There's the tag. This is the bag that I found at the thrift store. Still new with the tag on it. There's no stains, no nothing. Brand new. Someone bought it and I guess they decided they didn't like it. Or whatever, you know, that happens. I've done it myself. I've bought things and put it in my closet. Just never bothered to wear it. And I end up donating it. So that's that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is hold on <laughs> now I'm wondering if okay I don't know what the heck but okay show must go on okay so before we was rudely interrupted i finished putting together the mannequins here they are here's the merchandise that i have um in the store this is the bathing suit that i just showed you guys it ties from neck all the way down you do the crisscross thing tie it around your waist you could tie it like a couple of times so you, you see I did it like twice on here I had to tie it around twice and then a little knot and you still have some ties left so if you're creative with ties you know you can do some things with this and then here's another one that I just put up which is like like a crop long sleeve crop with the scarf and the bottoms now I had to get creative with this because the the swimsuit, the garment is a size large. So I had to end up like pinning it in the back too because it wouldn't stay up there. So yeah. And it comes with a little scarf. And that's on the Poshmark store too. So I have everything up here, all the stuff. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put. I think I might put this on the mannequin. So we can try this, put that over there. Because I like my wooden hangers, but I want something more form fitting on here. So it'll look more appealing when I'm showing it. And then I have numbers too. I have to figure out what I did with those numbers too. So I have to, I need to number, when I do my shows, I need to number the items too. Well, I don't have to because I don't have a whole lot of stuff, but it just makes it a little more organized when you do it like that. I should have just put it over here. That way. And I have this rack, this rack I got from Amazon. I get just about everything from Amazon, for real. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like on the mannequin. Okay. So now that's what it looks like on the mannequin. Much better than it just being on the hanger and you can't really see you know what it would look like on a on a on a person you know so now i'm gonna put it right here so this was one of the these were the things this was one of the items that sold that the person bought they bought this they bought um let me put this on the mannequin too and these is the, this loungewear. So I have loungewear as well. And it's not just the stuff on the rack. These are actually, well, it's for sale. These items. These two, I think I explained to you guys before. And then the rest of the stuff are going to be 
come new in the package. And so this is what this will look like. It's loungewear. I actually have uh, one of these. I have this. So that's that. So they got this. They bought one of these. Which is just a little, little active wear, outerwear, whatever. It's a crop. It's blower. And has the pants, it has pockets, zippers on the sides of the ankles, whatever. And then it comes with a hood. Very comfortable. This one's actually mine. So if anybody orders, they will get one that's brand new in the package. So or whatever stock that I have left. And then I have this one that's a crop with the pants. And then it has a little bungee right there. And then this has a hood as well. A very big, big hood is. And so this is what this looks like. And then these are just like, um, you know, little stretch pants. You can see the tag is still on here. So this is brand new. And then I have this in the brown and black. So I actually have two different colors. So this is what the black looks like. And I've worn this outfit before. And then I have a dress here, which I need to put this one. I should put this one on the mannequin too. And this is from The Gap. So this is a thrift find. And I believe this it's very good condition. Very good condition. It's not dirty, no spots, stains, or any of that. Very cute. And it has pockets. So. I just had an Amazon package I had to go down there and get just a second ago before I came back on. So, we'll be getting into that because that goes with the other... And then we're gonna do here once I organize this. And so now this is what this looks like on the mannequin. And then it has this, you could tie it, pull it a little tighter so it's a little more, you know. put it at the end and then I have this dress too that's I told you guys just on the mannequin that I need to take off so I need to take that dress off of her as well as the jacket the jacket's for sale and this is what the jacket looks like very cute and the dress is kind of, you know, a little bohemian pattern. Very cute. All right. So, I guess we'll get into Hold on here. This is another thing that I got that I, I have to do for um TikTok. So I, got, I just got this today. I'll have to do a review for that. And they're kind of like, one of the, the sellers is like, uh, I'm a little, um, just the, the, the tad bit annoyed because I got sent a product and the crap don't work. And I've tried to contact them and contact them and contact them. And they just have like this automatic, auto, auto, automated, I guess I'm trying to say thing and so i'm not actually speaking with a live person on the seller but with tiktok itself you know i'm just not making any headway and i'm a little disappointed with that because they can mess me up with you know um 
other projects and stuff like that so i'm not very happy with that and um i'm just in my thoughts i'm just not happy with that so i think i am going to make a video but they're not going to like the video that i'm going to make because they need to take that off they need to check it off as completed or just take it off all together because they're messing up me requesting other samples of stuff because I have that just sitting there pending because I haven't, you know, completed my part that I'm supposed to do and stuff. So it's just, it's really like messing me up. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so we done that. And I'm thinking about putting this on. This one I don't have. It's the North Face um, little sweater. And I'm thinking about putting that on because I don't have that uploaded. But I do have it on this rack because I'm going to sell it. I got so, so I have one mannequin left that I can dress, put something on. And I don't know if I'm going to do one of these or I could just leave it for now because it's not necessary that I have to put something on there and then look how it fits like it literally just they just they fit into each other oh you can't see they fit into each other so it is it's not bulky so that's real cool it's not bulky you can just literally close them into each other see how that is this is that so it's real that's real convenient and i love this rack so i got i actually have bought and this is like my third rack that i bought and i really really do love this because this has this extension on this end as well as the other end there's an extension on the other end too so you can hang more garments I got this rack from Amazon, as you can see, it's starting to bend. But this one is good as well. I just, I need to lighten it up. Now, if you guys remember, I told you um, these are my my own personal items. These are not. This is not for sale. Oh, so speaking of for sale, so this was the other um, outfit that they bought. So they got this. They got. Um, and that's my jacket they got this black outfit this and this outfit that's what they got so over here this is my stuff <laughs> and it started off as for aesthetics so this dress still still new i haven't worn it yet i have a pink one that's like this and then y'all know i love my leopard print and i just bought this shawl and stuff from um amazon and then y'all seen this outfit well maybe not um i wore this outfit for a little tiktok video that was cute and then this is my mannequin's dress i'm probably gonna steam that and then put it back on her and that's just uh whatever and then these are outfits that i got from tiktok so y'all want to see these outfits that I get from TikTok? They're all, the videos are over there. And then I showed you guys before about the t-shirts and what I'm gonna do with the t-shirts. This I should use the mannequin, put the put this on the mannequin. But I'm actually keeping it though. And then my jacket. And then I don't know. I was thinking about maybe selling this this um jacket because I haven't worn it. I bought it, but I have not worn it. And it's just sitting. And, you know, I don't like when clothes just sit. And I usually donate. But now I know I can maybe make a little money off of clothes that I buy and don't wear. Whatever. So, I do that now. Okay. So, let's get into this video for my new camera. Okay. We can do that. My battery is not dying. It is not dying. It is not dying. I'll be back, y'all. Okay. 
we're gonna try this one last time <laughs> all right um i really hope all this footage recorded because i don't even know my my gopro is acting up it won't connect to wi-fi so i could see if the footage is there i see it recording but i don't know if the footage is there and i'm getting very frustrated okay so if i have to re-record it show must go on again okay so this is the new camera that I bought, the DJI. Um, you guys probably seen a lot of videos about this camera. Um, I'm so, I'm so, so, so distracted right now. I'm so discouraged right now because it's nothing is acting right. All right. Usa. Okay. So you guys probably already seen a lot of videos about this camera. I got it. It's very discreet um i figure it's a little more reliable than grow i won't go there i digress um yeah so um this is what it looks like i have it on a tripod it's not their tripod but i have it on a tripod um the thing that separates this video from everybody else's videos is i have quite a ton of accessories for it okay so i'm praying that this camera will act right because i don't think i have enough storage on my phone to actually record it okay so this is the battery now don't get in the comments talking about the, you know i already unboxed this i'm not the greatest unboxer okay we'll just start there so this is the battery this is the battery this actually works without this attachment on here this is just an extra so you have to be it's very fragile so you guys get this camera be very very careful with it and this is what it looks like when it's on you could just flip the screen it'll come up come on come on or you can put it go in the settings if and fix it where you could just push the button to turn it on so now we're gonna do that and then that way it this is the the best way to record if you're doing like TikTok or instagram if you're doing it for youtube you want to have it like this okay this is what i understand from my little researching and so this is also a little joystick to control the camera the camera movement let's see if it'll do it for me okay so zoom is zooming so when you go up and down it zooms and then when you go this left and right as you can see let me turn it this way left and right it turns the camera it's slow y'all so you know it's not going to be a quick anything but because it wants to give you kind of a pan view so that's why it's, it doesn't do it quickly and then with this you want to make sure because these are the little hooks on the sides. You want to make sure, listen. See the other side, didn't, it didn't click. So you want to make sure that when you put it on, you hear that? So that it clicks. Okay, again, be very careful with the camera. Uh, Let's see. So we're going to be doing, let me turn this off. And when it turns off, this will flip on the side and then it's, it's safe to put, you want to, you don't want to do it like this. Okay. You don't want to do it like that because you're effing. And this camera is still acting up. It just shut off. Okay. So, um, this is the first thing. I'm not sure what this is. I just kind of piled everything up here as it came. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna open the box here with you guys. Sorry for the bouncing around. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I remember with this. I got the mic. So you can buy it separately 
or you can buy the creator's uh kit which it comes it already comes with the mic and i i can't remember off the top of my head what else it comes with but it automatically comes with the mic when you get the creator's kit which costs a little bit a little bit more it's like six something i got mines from amazon um i got a story so my cheap self <laughs> my cheap self call myself going to ebay i'm like okay i i can get um a used one refurbished whatever you know i'm it's you know it's not that big of a deal to me i seen one that was for like 200 now I know y'all probably saying $200 for a DJI Pocket 3. I didn't mention that, did I? Yeah, so it's a DJI Pocket 3. So someone had it for like $214 or whatever. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. It was too good to be true. So I purchased it, right? I purchased it. And when the transaction went through, and so it, so it was about a day i think like a day or so yeah it was about a day um the thing said the thing said um it said the purchase date which was the ninth i believe and then it was like purchased on the ninth shipped on the 10th delivered on the ninth how can that even be possible so ebay flagged it they flagged it and so I'm like, oh my God, I should have known it was, it was too good. Because when I looked at it, when I went to check out the seller and stuff, it said that their account was made, created, um, what is this, July? That their account was created like last month. And then they were selling the DJI Pocket 3 and they were trying to sell a Sony, um, what is that one, um, VZ or ZV? one f or oh, i forget y'all y'all you kind of know okay so here's the mic and i'll tell you the rest of the story so here's the mic i don't know how it works so you know we're gonna have to figure that out together um so here it is it's small and then here's a the little i got a white one mine's is white now you see everybody else they have a black one i i, I dare to be different i wanted a white one so there it is and then that's what it looks like on the side top bottom i guess you put a string or something no i'm lying that's where you, <laughs> you uh charge it up at but i didn't get the one with the case it's just the mic and then this it has a little case obviously to put it in which is cool a little carrying case because it is very tiny and that's something that's easy to use here here's the charging cord so you can charge it up probably needs to be charged and maybe i should do that um plug it up let me see here do i have a plug over here i don't because sometimes i like instead of doing a undoing a plug if i already have one that fits i'll do that instead and just save the plugs for like if i'm away traveling or whatever and then i'll use it but if i already have one that's plugged up i'll just i just use that okay so we're gonna go ahead and plug it up because i have a little tower here that i kind of plug everything up to and i'm praying that this camera acts right and i'm praying that the footage is there <sighs> i swear nothing is going right today nothing is going right okay so that was the first thing that was the microphone and then we have another one here. Okay, so I also ordered a lens. So this is the, I think it's called the Black Mist. And so, um, so with the Black Mist, it gives, uh, I think it says like a beauty effect. So this has a cloth and then this is what it looks like and then it's very tiny so we're not gonna put it on there because I have some other things that I gotta do so that's what it looks like 
It has a little kind of green tint to it. So we'll just put this aside. So I got that lens for the camera. And I have one more thing coming. Or do I have two things coming? kind of jacked up here dang like this box looked like he had to fight all his life dang okay so this is the shade a shade that you put on the top of the camera to kind of block out the sun hold on here the plastic wanna stick to me all right come on so you just do this like this So you just tap the screen and it'll turn around and it'll face you and then i guess you're supposed to put it like this and that's that's what that looks like so clearly you're not going to clearly you're not going to film this way because it's going to be this the shade is going to be for basically selfie mode okay so when you're out and it's brightly lit outside and stuff and you don't want the sun or whatever i don't know why it keeps doing that it says let's see the gamble is protected so okay so it wants to keep going up for some reason i maybe there's a setting i have to put it on in order for it to stop doing that but it keeps wanting to point up and i don't want to do that but anyway so i got that oh so it does flip around you see that it flipped around okay so it flipped around and then so that's okay we're gonna just put it face down it's all right oops oh the camera done did some okay all right we'll have to figure that out And it looks like on here on this camera, now I have these batteries fully charged and they really wanna act up today. Like nothing wants to let me be great today. Okay, so this, this here is for the screen. So again, if you're outside, it's brightly lit. And I need the camera to flip around. There we go. So, and that's what in in that'll be a shade so i figured this would be great when i'm outside and where i'm at california is very hot um and it just slides right off so you probably need to be careful so you see right here as you can see it just hooks on don't try to put it no put it around here if you get it so you can see boom just like that all right, you need to slide it off. Don't yank it or none of that stuff. You you destroy your stuff. Okay, so that's that. And then one more. No, actually two. This this one and another one. I got covers. All right, so let's turn it off. I'm gonna take this off and this off. And then we're gonna power it off. And then flip the screen. And then we're gonna put on the cases. So I, I love to have, y'all saw me doing that, right? Y'all didn't see me doing that. I love to have cases, protective cases and things like that for my stuff. So, um, this is probably, you know what? We'll wait because I have something else. We'll put that aside. What in the heck is this? 
Hold on. That's a shame. I've ordered so much stuff, I don't even know what all I have. This is... Oh, the stand. So I was debating on rather or not if I wanted to send this back. So here's the stand. So you could just do this like this. Yeah, that's the right way. So when you want it to stand up, which I needed to do instead of having it laying down. This. Oh, also you want to get an SD card as well. So these, everything I have here, I got from Amazon. Um, I got these doing Prime. I hope you guys got in on the Prime day. I got two 64 gigabytes and 4K because one, I tried to use what I have for some old camera. It said it was too slow and during uh, recording it might stop. So I was like, no, we cannot have that. So let me just get some new SD cards. I got those two for like $22. This, this, my game is very important you know what this is protective like tempered glasses for here so we got one to put here on the screen and one to put on the front lens so i just want to show you guys that and let you know get protection for your screen and your lens so we're gonna try to put on this case and then I'll put the screen protectors on. I'm trying to rush this along because again, my camera is not acting the greatest. And so I feel like I'm putting this on wrong. What is going on here? Is this for the right camera? Did they send me the wrong shit? I'm sorry y'all. Cause I'm feeling like that is not right right there. Cause look at this, the, I don't have that for this. Unless, oh, you know what I did? You know what I'm doing? Why would they make it like that though? Because now you have to, because you can't put it through the top. Oh, you know what? Oh no, that ain't gonna work either. Maybe if you put it, why would they make it like this? Because I'm scared. I'm really scared. Because y'all, if y'all don't know, like when I got my GoPro, I was like, you know, because I'm not a GoPro expert. And so, I don't know. I'm going to just do that when I take my time with it. But that's got me a little nervous because the way they have it the way it's silicone but hold on because i'm dropping everything on the floor it's silicone but this thing is fragile so i don't know why they would make it where you have to like stretch it or whatever shit over the thing in the way it's constructed and stuff you see this like how you know what i mean you'd have to really stretch it and stuff and I don't know if that's, if that's gonna, you know what I mean? So I might end up sending this back because I don't like the way that, that shit works. Oh, and it comes with a little thing to put on your, I wonder will this pop in the case if you put this on though? Because I'm gonna have a whole issue if it don't, if you can't put it back in here when you have this on. Like that's gonna be a problem for me. Cause I don't want to do any take off, put back on, take off, put back on type of stuff. So you put this on here and that's good too. Cause you don't want to, if you don't have this, you don't want to just be throwing this in your bag and have your screen exposed. Even if you have a screen protector and stuff, you still want to protect that screen protector too, you know? And this is for the, the bigger battery, I guess yeah this is for the extra battery battery pack that you would get and then they have they have look they have them for all sizes 
I don't know. I'll try to put it on, but again, like I said, I'll probably do it off camera. That way I can take my time because I don't want to um, break it. And yeah, and I need to put some coverage on it. What the heck is this? Oh, they even give you one for your your um your mic. They give you one for your mic. That is so cute. They give you one for your mic too. So neat. And I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe for another attachment, but that I don't have. But um Oh, you know what it is? It's for the top. Yeah. You put it on the top. Look. That's what it is. That's what it's for. That's cool. So be gentle when you take it off. That's cool. That's cool. So all this is cool. So this is for extra, an extra battery. An extra battery. If you get an extra battery, let me put all this stuff in here. So again, don't forget, if you get one of these cameras, that you need to get some SD cards and get the right ones for it. Um, these are all the accessories that I've... What did I tell you guys what this was? I forget. Let me see. I forget. Oh, the lens. That's right. The lens. Okay. So the screen protector, extra SD card. Um, hmm. A cover just to be stylish for aesthetics, of course. But the most important things is maybe an extra battery they say the charge is fast so it takes about uh i charged mine actually it took less than 18 minutes to actually charge it it took less than 18 minutes now i don't know where the battery percentage was before i put this on and i put this on upside down because it tells you right here how to put this on and i've stuck it on here upside down i wasn't paying attention so make sure you put that on there right okay so um yeah um what was i saying oh i don't know where the percentage was prior to um me charging it but it really didn't take that long so you could probably get like a battery pack you know like one you would use to charge your phone not the one you stick on the back of your iphone but you know one of those extra charge let me show you because i have one i just so happen to have one right here something like this you know that you could get a f quite a few charges from Maybe use something like that to plug in and uh, charge it up because it doesn't take very long. Charge it or have an extra battery or extra batteries like this. You could probably get another. I think they have a smaller one than this. Maybe stands about as tall as this. And, you know, or one like this size or one is this size which makes it almost like a tripod and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to get off of here because this battery on the GoPro that was fully charged is now in the yellow. So that means my camera is probably going to shut down at any time. Um, I'll probably pick up my recording from my DJI. Hopefully it's a little more reliable than this one that I'm recording from. And, uh... Yeah, I hope all the footage is there. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do this video all over again. And I don't want to do that. Okay?